On this episode of OBD for Everyone, we're going to be using an app called Torque Pro to find out why our check engine light is on. In this 1999 Nissan Altima, our check engine light is on, and we want to find out why. So, I've got my Wi-Fi OBD scanner plugged into the car, the engine is running, and my Samsung tablet is connected to the Wi-Fi OBD scanner. I have started up Torque Pro, and as we can see, we are all connected. So we'll touch fault codes, and then we will touch here to scan the ECU. And here we can see we've got actually three fault codes. We've got two that are in red, and these are current faults. So we've got an issue with our knock sensor, which is a P0325, and we've got another code, which is a P1402. When the second digit of the fault code is a zero, it's a generic SAE PID, meaning it's defined. When we have the second digit being a one, it is a manufacturer defined PID. So we need to go to the shop manual or hit Google up to understand exactly what that is there. If I touch the P1402, Torque Pro tries to give us an idea of that code and different manufacturers. So for example, for BMW, it's an issue with the heated catalyst power switch. On Nissan, they're saying it's the EGR. I'm not going to trust this, I'm gonna hit close. I would actually go to the factory shop manual or Google to find out what that means. We also have something here in yellow. This is a pending fault. A pending fault is a fault that has happened once, but not twice. In order for a check engine light to come on, most of the time, the fault needs to occur twice for the check engine light to come on. If it only happens once, then it is a pending code. And that's that's what we have here. Now, most people like to click on more and hit clear faults on ECU. Generally, this is a very bad idea because you erase valuable diagnostic information. Three things you erase. The first thing you erase is the freeze frame data. That is a snapshot of the conditions when the check engine light came on. You also erase your emissions monitors. Meaning if you're going for an emission test in the next few weeks, there's a good chance you're going to fail because that's not enough time for the emission monitors to run. And the third reason why you don't want to clear the check engine light is you will be erasing your mode six data. Before a check engine light comes on, a test needs to be performed. And in the mode six, that stores the test results. That's why you don't want to clear your check engine light. The next step is we've got the codes. Let's do some research to understand what they are. Now I talked about freeze frame data. So let's go here to freeze frame data and we'll let Torque Pro retrieve the freeze frame data. And you can see what I'm talking about. Now in this car here, it's 1999, it's very old. We are not gonna see a lot of information on the newer vehicles. For example, my G37, I will be retrieving over 40 different sensors. So here we can see in the bottom, even though it's still scanning, that the vehicle speed was 62 kilometers per hour. We're doing 1200 RPM. Uh, intake manifold pressure was 26 kilopascals, and we've got some other stuff there. It helps us to understand what the conditions were when the check engine light came on, and that's very useful for troubleshooting. Okay, we'll touch back here. From here, the next step is we have the codes. We now need to do some research to understand what that code means, and that will point us in the area that we need to look and do some research to find out what's going on. And that is how you retrieve full codes with Torque Pro. 